From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Sarah Finney. Today we're expecting partly cloudy skies all across Tampa Bay. Greg D has your full forecast coming up, but first here are your ABC Action News headlines. For the second st straight day, Florida saw a drop in the number of new coronavirus cases. The Department of Health reported just 502 cases yesterday. That is down from 1300 on Friday. The drop could mean social distancing and safer at home policies are making a difference. Unfortunately, the number of COVID-19 deaths in Florida rose to 221. The British Prime Minister now in the hospital 10 days after testing positive for COVID-19. Boris Johnson has a high fever and that's not going away. He's still in charge of their government, but the Queen gave a rare televised address. The 93-year-old monarch rallying her country. Her son, Prince Charles, has tested positive for the virus. I also want to thank those of you who are staying at home, thereby helping to protect the vulnerable and sparing many families. I hope in the years to come, everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. There is a small sign of hope in Europe. Italy's death toll is at its lowest in more than two weeks, and the infection curve there is finally on a downward slope. Back here in Tampa Bay, if you're getting cabin fever, you pick farms are a great place to go do something outdoors. You pick farms and farmers markets are considered essential businesses under the statewide safer at home order, so they're open. Bob's Blueberry Farm in Hudson is reminding people to stay six feet apart, but they say that's not too hard with 17 acres. We're fortunate with him being considered like essential personnel that we can come out and make sure that we keep our local community going. Bob's Blueberry Farm is one of uh, so many other you pick farms remaining open. You can find a full list on abcactionnews.com slash open. Tampa's Armature Works may be closed, but they're starting daily activities on its Instagram page to help you keep busy. Today there will be cooking with Chef Sandy from Boca, and tomorrow there will be yoga. And you can also find some virtual tours. Just check out their Instagram page every day. Now let's head over to Greg D with your forecast. Hey there, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. After a gloomy day yesterday where a lot of those indoor activities came to good use today, uh, we're going to see some sunshine develop, but not until the afternoon. It is going to start rather gray as we go through the day. Temperatures out there in the mid to upper 70s to around 80. Cloud cover forecast shows cloudy skies to at least 8 o'clock. Then we may break some uh, clouds out there by the afternoon and see a little bit of sun. Nice north breeze at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And we could see a sprinkle or two pop up just about any time, though overall the rain is not very likely today. Your latest extended forecast, and you can track any pop-up showers by downloading the ABC Action News app in your app store.